This week, we're gonna be building our very own bot. We're not gonna use directions to build it. I'm gonna show you an example of a quick and easy robot to build, but you could build any robot you want as long as it has two motors with wheels attached. We're then gonna learn how to take that robot and program it using some extra code blocks that aren't always available when you first start your program. So follow along as we build this mini bot and then you're gonna customize it and make it your own to solve some challenges at the end. Those challenges are going to be to transport objects from one room of your home to another, and then return back to where it started. Let's go. So the materials we'll need for this build today, we're gonna to want to start with our hub, which is the brain of our robot. We're also going to need two motors, and I would gather up 12 of those black connector pieces because you'll need those throughout our build. You'll also wanna go ahead and grab your two wheels to attach to this robot. So let's build our driving base for our robot. Start with your motor, and in the top side of the blue on your motor, we're gonna plug in two Technic pieces. And these are on the opposite side of where the motor actually turns. And we're gonna do that with both motors. So two Technic connector pieces into the top, and then two Technic pieces across from each other on the front of the motor. Next, into the hub, you'll see the white part on top where our button is. This, these top two holes on the side, we're gonna plug in each motor, one on each side. Excellent. And then we're gonna plug our motors into the port that's on the same side as the motor. So these wires aren't crossing each other, they're each on their own side. Now let's add our wheels. And so I attach my wheels, and this is my driving base. But it doesn't stay up. If I let go of it, it starts to fall forward, starts to fall backwards. So we need to make some balancing for this robot. And we'll take four more connector pieces and take these two purple beams. And we're gonna plug these purple beams into the bottom of our hub. So when we flip our hub over on the yellow part, let's put four connector pieces, and then we can just attach these beams onto the bottom. And now our robot doesn't fall over and is ready to drive around but I wanna add a little bit of character to my bot. So I'm gonna grab two of these white Technic connector pieces that have an axle on one end, and then I'm gonna grab any two Lego bricks, and I'm gonna grab yellow for this, and I'm gonna plug these directly into the back, into the middle part of it, and then I'm gonna find some eyes for my robot. Here's a good looking eye to put on the front. Here's my other eye. And now I can attach these right here. And now I have a robot with eyes. So this is it for our build. You can customize this however you want. The next thing we're gonna do is start to program this bot to move. We're gonna start by going to spike.legoeducation.com and then we're gonna click on Essential. And if you've built your very own robot, you can still code it. You don't have to go through the units to build something and code it to move. So when you go to the spike.legoeducation.com website and you click on Spike Essential, we're now on this home screen. Now we wanna to go to a new project and you can choose icon blocks or word blocks. We'll start with icon blocks and we'll hit create. I need to connect my bot to my computer. So I click the connect button, I push the button one time on top of my bot and I see the light starts to flash. I click open, I find the name of my bot and then I hit pair. I'll know it's connected when this light turns solid and then turns blue. So now my bot is talking, and I scroll along the bottom, but I can't find those pink movement motors that we've used before. 
what I need to do is click down here where you see the outline of some coding blocks and it says show block extensions with a plus sign on it. Let's click on that. And now we get some options to add more programming blocks. I'm gonna click on movement. Then I hit the X and now I have my programming blocks. I like to start with setting my speed and then I'm just gonna test it to make sure it drives forward. So I'm gonna turn this so it won't drive off my table. I push play and my bot starts to move. Excellent. Now I'm gonna give it a few more programming blocks and I'm gonna speed it up. And now my bot is gonna be able to hopefully drive forward and then make a turn. Excellent. So this is a way to build your very own bot and then code it using those pink movement blocks. Now, I can also code it using word blocks. I go back to home, I click new project. This time I'm gonna say word blocks. And I've already added the pink word blocks to this, but if I didn't see them, I could click that and I'd say movement blocks. And you have lots of options here. And we'll go through what some of those are at a later lesson. But when the program starts, I want to move forward 10 rotations. And before that, I may want to set the speed. And let's lower that to about three. So now, using those word blocks, my bot can move. Excellent. Some challenges that we could do this week, you could add a platform to the front and see if your robot could transport materials. See if you can have your robot carry objects from one room to another. I wanna know what type of platform do you add on to your robot. I also wanna know how much code do you have to program your robot to get it to take the object to another room. Some objects you could carry. You could carry some of our Lego people. You could also find some lightweight objects in your house, but try to carry them from one room to another. And for an extra challenge, can you get your robot to return back to where it started? So you may have a family member in another room, your robot drives to them, they can unload the robot, and then the robot returns. Can't wait to see what you come up with.